It feels like I haven't done a vlog in ages, but I think I actually did one like last week. All of the days are just blurring into one at the moment. Honestly, what even did I think it's Thursday today? Yeah, okay, it's Thursday today. <laughs> it's probably a good job I know that now because I have two lectures today. But yeah, all of the weeks are just blurring into one and it's week four of university already. Bearing in mind the term is only 10 weeks long, I think. So we're almost halfway through unless I've got my maths completely wrong, but I think it is week four out of 10. Today, I thought I'd just do a little day in the life because I've actually got quite a lot going on today. As I've just mentioned, I've got two lectures, which are both online. I then need to go into town this afternoon because I have a slight situation with my nail. I managed to break it yesterday at the gym, so I need to get that sorted. And I thought whilst I was in town, I may as well just work in a coffee shop as well because I've really been liking doing that recently because it just changes up my working space because otherwise I just get so sick of sitting at my desk all day long. We're also going to B&M. I don't know why every time I vlog we end up going to B&M, but we'll probably do another random B&M haul. I don't know, it'll probably descend into chaos knowing our household. The first thing that I need to do today is I'm gonna do part of my pre-recorded climate change lecture before my marketing lecture at 11. My marketing lecture is live, but my climate change one is pre-recorded. So I'm just gonna do as much of it as I can before 11 because I actually need to make a to-do list of all the work that I have to do. I really haven't planned out this week very well. So I'm sort of here, there and everywhere. I'm not really sure <laughs> what I need to do for when. So that's another job for today as well, actually creating a to-do list for the rest of the week. Let her know, I gotta let her know that she my white horse, she my medical. She like my baby mama, know how to take care of me. Give my baby problems, you gon' regret everything. So I let her know, gotta let her know Front door, I'll be ready for And if it's what you want, I'ma give it to you Yeah, promise, I'ma give it to you I got to slide 25 out of 32 in 45 minutes. So that is pretty good going. But now I'm just going to prepare for my marketing lecture. So it's five to 11 currently. And before a live lecture, I try and like copy the slides over to my notes. So then during the actual lecture, I can just type out my notes and I don't have to worry about copying the PowerPoint slides over because I've spoken about this before, but as you can probably tell, when I was doing my climate change lecture, I just sort of copy the slides over as I go because it's pre-recorded. So I can always just rewind on what he said and like write it down again if I didn't catch it. But if it's a live lecture, it's often quite a stress trying to do that at the same time. So I just do it beforehand. However, this time I'm struggling to actually find the PowerPoint, which is great. Yeah, promise I'm gonna give it to you. Uh, I think now we are going to start and uh, welcome to the uh, lecture number four and uh, today we are going to discuss about the macro environment. Feel the baby stresses all around Having looked at my demographics and 
analytics and all of that jazz on YouTube. I know that a lot of you guys are studying for your A-levels at the moment, whether you're in year 12 or year 13. And that's why whenever a company reaches out to me that I think is gonna be really beneficial for you guys, for your studies, I like to share it as a little segment in these videos. I know just how hard it is sometimes to revise for A-levels. I can't even imagine what it's like now with the move to online teaching. So that's why I'm very excited today to talk to you about A-level biologist. A-level biologist is a website that covers all of the content that you need for whichever biology qualification you're doing. So it has all of the exam boards for A-level. The content is written by an expert who undertook their research at UCL, Cambridge and King's College. So you know it is top quality content and it's such a great revision resource for A-level biology, which as I know from experience is sometimes an incredibly hard A-level to revise for. You buy a subscription to the website, however you're not only paying for the content, the subscription fees also go towards scholarships and four different UK and global charities, including UNICEF and Greenpeace. I'll have the link down below in the description. I'd really recommend that you guys check this out if you are studying A-level biology because it's a fantastic resource. I've just finished it. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Great stuff. I've just finished my marketing lecture. Now I've got 45 minutes till my how managers make decisions lecture. So I'm gonna make myself lunch. Oh, sorry, everyone's coming in now. It's feeding time at the zoo. But yeah, I'm gonna make um, eggs and avocado on toast. Megan's making garlic mushrooms, which I'm very jealous about. Actually, while I'm in the kitchen, I should probably give you an update on the um, mouse situation because things have slightly escalated so there's been many sightings of the mouse now we've had contact pest control and they're gonna come i'm not entirely sure what pest control really does but it's just a bit of an issue there's just droppings everywhere um what else has happened i feel like there's been other significant developments in the mouse case and now i just can't think of any there was a mouse dead in the living room oh yeah they're in the living room now which is thrilling. We just thought it was just the kitchen, but they're coming up through the floorboards in the living room, we think. So we're gonna have to deal with that. We've put like the, well, the landlord's put the mesh stuff in. But yeah, I'll keep you updated on the mouse situation if anyone's actually interested. finished my lecture for how managers make decisions not that I paid attention to 90% of it because I was just doing other things and then I got ready as well because I'm gonna head into town now Maeve is actually gonna join me and then Freya is gonna join us later which is nice the plan is to get my nail fixed firstly hopefully that's not gonna take too long because when I originally got these done I was in there for three hours and I do not have three hours spare today and then we're gonna go work in a coffee shop I'm thinking maybe Starbucks because I bought a reusable cup for Starbucks the other day so I kind of want to get some use out of it because you get money off your coffee if you buy a reusable cup and they are really cute anyway it only costs like £1.50 and the Starbucks in Leeds city centre are actually so good for working they have really good tables my camera is gonna die though so I don't think I'm gonna bring it but I will try and get some clips and maybe a time lapse or two depending on how busy it is on my phone so sorry if the quality goes downhill for a few minutes it's not that bad but the audio is not great and make diamonds i won't steal the baby silent baby hurts to see you crying know you trying ain't no lying baby when i say i need you greedy if i have to share you it was me that all along did you wrong thinking that i made you beautiful and strong this toxicity the death of me i fear the day you gone the most beautiful girl i've ever known no. I'll do 
and obviously I'm back home from town. I've been home for a few hours now, but I've just made dinner and stuff. So I haven't really vlogged because I was starving once we got back. It was a kind of productive afternoon. I technically did everything that I needed to do this afternoon, but I could really do with working more this evening, but I don't know if I will or not because obviously we're going to be and m now. We're not making fajitas together anymore tonight because Jodie, my housemate, is busy now. So we're doing that on Saturday instead, which is a shame that I can't show you in the vlog, but I'm sure I'll put it on Instagram or something. But I kind of had like my own little fajita night anyway because I was making Mexican bean tostada is. I think that's how you say it tonight so I kind of had it anyway but we didn't do it all together but yeah we're gonna go to B&M now we're only really going to get a bin but knowing us we will come home with the most random lot of things so if I do end up with a load of random things then I will show you when we're back but yeah I'm so hot and out of breath now and I don't really know why I could see this through I could wait another night One more night One more night <laughs> I could fight it through We're back from B&M and Lidl now Excuse the background noise Everyone's in the kitchen currently But my haul this time isn't as random As it was last time Today's actually kind of makes sense So from B&M I got some makeup wipes and then also face masks. Are we doing face masks tonight? Yeah. yeah. Okay, that would be nice. And then I got a few bits from Lidl. So I got these biscuits. If you haven't tried these from Lidl, they are actually amazing. I don't really know how to describe them. They're very Christmassy. Um, like loads of different spices and stuff. Like it's almost a bit like gingerbread, but with more spices. Also got some eggs. Very exciting. Um, sandwich thins. I would have gone for brown, but they only had white. And then some cling film as well that I managed to throw on the floor at the checkout and now it's just all opened itself. I hadn't had a chance to open them before now but I had a few very exciting deliveries from Depop today. So firstly I got this little North Face fleece which is from a Depop shop called Varsity Vintage I think. I'll put that out on screen. But yeah, this is so cute. I really liked the colours of it. It's just white and grey. It's not really coming up as two different colours, but the sleeves are slightly different. But yeah, this is so cute and I thought so good for layering as well. Like I feel like I could put this under a thinner jacket, like maybe a denim jacket. Excuse all of my washing in the background. That is not a vibe. And then I also got this super cute top, which is from a Depop shop called Oh Sister. It's just a really cute little crop top with a kind of like tie-dye thing I guess going across the front but it came with this super cute note and they actually watch my videos and they also sent this top which I did not order and this really cute tie-dye bag as well so thank you so much I'll leave the links down below in the description because I actually cannot get over how cute this packaging is it comes with washing instructions it comes really nicely packaged in tissue paper and I feel like the these kind of tops are just perfect for every day really and perfect for uni like I definitely wear this with joggers or jeans or even like these flares to be honest I feel like kind of a vibe these flares are from Topshop but I bought them ages ago so I have no idea if you can still buy them or not but yeah I just thought I'd give you a little haul of the bits that I've got from Depop I haven't really shopped on Depop in ages I haven't really bought any clothes in general in ages so I'm very happy with how all of these purchases turned out. Since we got back from B&M, we've just been sat in the living room, just kind of like chatting and planning stuff. So I didn't film anything because there was nothing interesting to film, but 
It's 11 p.m. now and I'm gonna go to sleep. I know it's kind of early, but I am so tired. I only got five hours sleep last night, which may be why I've seemed like a little bit run down today and tired. So I'm looking forward to an early night and then I'm gonna get up a little bit later tomorrow. But I hope that you've enjoyed this video. Sorry it's been a bit all over the place. Like that is just what my life is like at the moment. Um, it consists of online uni and spontaneous shopping trips and trips to town. Although I didn't actually get my nail fixed. I think I forgot to mention that. I went to the nail shop and they were just so busy. So I waited a couple of hours and then went back later, but they were still really busy. So they told me to go back tomorrow morning, but obviously I've got uni again tomorrow and we're going to the gym in the morning. So I've got no idea when I'm gonna go, but you probably don't care anyway. But if you did get to this point and you've enjoyed today's video, then please let me know. Leave a like, subscribe to my channel, and also follow my social media, which will be linked down below in the description. Bye guys.